Oh, my God, definitely not. That does nothing for you. I hate that. What? These are my clothes, Boo. I've been wearing these all day. Oh, God. Were you wearing your coat? Yes. But... Well, I think you look nice, so I just thought I'd wear what I was wearing anyway. Are you joking? Are you joking? Yes. Oh my goodness, I would absolutely die. That was a hilarious clip from the new comedy series on Amazon Prime, Fleabag. It follows an angry, unfiltered, sassy, dry-witted woman who is trying to navigate life and relationships in London. Now, the series is based on the award-winning one-woman stage show written and performed by Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who is actually joining me this morning. Phoebe, the clips just leading up to the premiere Hilarious. I cannot wait to see the full series. <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased. I'm pleased you're finding it funny. <laughs> well, we, were, we just saw the clip of uh, you and Boo coming out of the dressing room, and she says, no, definitely don't buy that. And you're like, this is my own clothes. Yeah, I hate that. <laughs> I would absolutely die. <laughs> So, you know, speaking of Boo, I have to ask you, I know this was a, you know, kind of like a one woman thing when you did it on stage. Was it kind of weird transferring this into TV and having other characters join you? Yeah, in some way it lent itself um, quite well to it. Like um, being able to actually dramatize the world and populate it and cast actual actors rather than me having to perform every single character like I did in the stage play was um, was was really exciting and a real kind of that was a really cool part of the adaptation I guess the um, the, the challenge was that she had um, you know in the stage play it was just me on me on a stool or a flea bag just telling one reported story of three days of her life and she had total control over how that story is received by the audience and everything that they picture or imagine and then um, Suddenly, there's this multi-dimensional life and, and and worlds that's that's realised when it's uh, when it's adapted to TV. And so I kind of had to shift um, her relationship with the audience a bit, which is why she, we have the um, breaking the fourth wall thing. Like she's always talking to the camera, um, and so that that was the main thing that remained from the from the play was the fact that it's it's audience address and that a lot of the uh, drama and comedy in the show comes from the relationship between the viewer themselves and Fleabag and what, sh and what she's saying to them down the camera. You know, I almost want to say that your closest relationship is with us at home because you kind of break that fourth wall. We get to really kind of see deeper into what you're thinking, yeah. uh, what Fleabag is thinking. But uh, I kind of read somewhere that maybe that relationship between you and I, I guess, uh, actually changes as the series goes on. Yeah, and that was the that was the side of it that I was most excited about writing and experimenting with, and um, and actually we weren't completely um, sure if it was going to work to begin with, you know, and <laughs> the idea that she could that the central relationship is actually between the audience and this and this character, and that she is um, manipulating to a certain degree, and she's she's lying to the audience because she's she's keeping up a bravado the whole time, you know, she wants you to to be invited into her world, and she wants to show her world as a funny. Uh, you know, cool place to live, but actually there's something else going on inside of her. There's another reason that she feels like she needs to um, talk to um, somebody the whole time, tell them their truth, tell them her, her truth or, um, you know, there are so many different aspects, but it's really, it's really about her, her wanting to control um, somebody's perception of her, which I think lots of people can relate to. I hope I can. Oh, no, that relatable truth. Those are all words that because Fleabag's kind of like my spirit animal, because everything she says is things that I've thought maybe never said or would never <laughs> tell a living soul. But I love living through her. And uh, I think I also read somewhere, Phoebe, that you said because, you know, this series gets maybe a little a little sexual, a little raunchy sometimes. And you said with your oh. accent, people will just let any of that fly. <laughs> yes, yes, that was a slightly kind of like flippant comment that got kind of blown up into this huge like opinion that I had. <laughs> um, but I think, um, I think. Uh, I think I think there is a, there is an element of it, but, and it's, it's talked about a lot. And uh, I'm asked that question of like the the elocution of Fleabag, that kind of crisp cleanliness of her delivery, um, which the British uh, accent really lends itself to. I think that there's something in, inherently polite about it, and um, and and quite sort of PG about it. Um, and actually, that's kind of what makes it so glorious to play because if you're if you're if you're talking absolute filth, but with a very polite sort of. Uh, <laughs> 
um, uh, personality and accent. Um, it kind of gives it, uh, it sort of sanitizes it in a way, I think, but also kind of makes it feel a bit more dangerous. A little bit more dangerous. Know. We'll see. <laughs> You know, Phoebe, I have to say, if somebody doesn't have Amazon Prime, they should definitely go get it today and definitely jump on board because Fleabag, I know, is going to be a, an amazing six-part series. Everyone's going to laugh so much. Thank you so much for just taking <laughs> a moment to talk to me this morning. No, thank you so much. I'm really pleased you're enjoying it. I hope you like the rest. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Fleabag actually premieres today on Amazon Prime Video and is a six-part series. Believe me, you don't want to miss it. It is so funny. Make sure to check it out. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend will be right back.